I am so excited. It is thread up time. Uh, so it's been a while since I've done any thread up box. I think the last one I did was like six months ago and it was a handbag box that I did with some friends. I think the last clothing box I did was about a year ago and that was a hundred pound women's mixed clothing. And because of rising gas prices, I decided why don't I order another thread up box, but this time I'll do a different spin. This time I'm going to compare this hundred pound women's mixed clothing box that cost me $250 to another box from a company called Cozy Threads. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'll write it on the screen. Uh, this company, I've never watched any videos. I know nothing about them other than from their website. It looks like they have wholesale pre-owned and vintage style of boxes. And I ordered their starter pack, which is 40 items for $240. Now these items should be new with tags, pre-owned and everything should be in good condition. So it'll be interesting to compare the two about the same price. I already know probably about half the stuff in the thread up box. I will just donate due to condition or, you know, can't even get $10, but I'm excited to compare these two. This video will just be thread up. The next video will be opening the cozy threads box and also doing a recap on what I think I should be able to make as far as profit from both boxes. So I hope you're excited, I am. And spoiler, this video, the second box I open, the second 50 pound box I open in this video is slightly better than the first. So be sure to stick around for that because I actually got a few decent things and I got a lot of stuff that I'm gonna donate. So let's just jump into the thread up box. I'm excited. Let's get started. All right. So I'm anticipating at least half of this I won't sell due to condition or due to brands, but if I can at least confidently know that I can make at least $10 from it, I could at least list it for 15, then that's my plan. All right, I have never seen this brand, so we're off to a good start. T4T, it says this product is keeping plastic bottles out of landfills. So this is a pair of leggings. I wish they were my size because I like the color. They're a size small. I've never heard of this brand, so I have, oh, Threads for Thought. I have seen that. I feel like that's nothing. I feel like that's nothing. Um, here's the material tag that says that, if you can see. Uh, so I don't think this is anything, but if I can at least get 10 to $12, I'm gonna list it. All right, this is Excursion, I think. Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. Anyways, I think this is a cheap, brand. So I don't think this is worth much, but I will double check. Um, this isn't my size. It's a small slim fit, so I won't get any use out of it. So anything I can't sell for at least 10 to $12, I will just redonate. And that's typical of thread boxes. Okay. This is a red sweater that doesn't feel like quality and it is New York and company. So I don't think I could. And I would say 10 to $12, not sitting for 12 years. So, you know, like a Nike tank might only get 10 or $12, but I'm pretty confident I could sell that in a few months. Um, that New York and company, I don't think I could sell that in three years, but uh, P.O.L. I don't know where they sell this, but I do not believe it's a high end brand or anything. I do like the little print on it for the holidays, but I'm guessing that's not anything. I will double check and uh, yeah, Anthony Originals size extra small just a yellow top i don't think anthony originals is anything so so far nothing that i think i don't know maybe i would up it to like will confidently sell for 15 dollars. that way if it doesn't sell for 15 dollars and it gets marked down for me it still will sell for at least 10 to 12 so that's probably what i'll do um so if i think i can list it for 18 to 20 and get 15 i'll list it so simply styled size medium just a t I don't think that's worth anything. I think with thread boxes of uh, the types that I've done, this is LuLaRoe. It's just a navy blue white striped top. It's a size small, but it looks fairly large. So if it fits me, I might keep it because I wear a lot of t-shirts, but I don't think that's worth selling. The thing with thread up is you're probably going to open up a lot of stuff that you won't want to sell or might not be worth selling. But the concept is, is you're getting a hundred pounds and you know, if half of this is sellable, um, if you want to save time on thrifting like me right now, um, it can be still a good deal. These are gap chino pants. Oh, there's like a little embroidery down here. I might be able to make 15 on these, 
the downside is, is this is Gap Outlet. So, and it's not like it's a large size. It's a size two. So that might be a tough sell, but it is kind of a nice spring summer pant. Um, so we'll see. I am looking for stuff to list. So if it's in decent condition, I will probably be listing it. See Wonder? Uh, I can't remember where they sell this, but it's very poly poly polyester-y. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a cold shoulder blouse. It feels very cheap, so I can't imagine this is going to be worth much. It's US XX small, so all right, throw it up. Give me something that's worthwhile. Forever 21. That's kind of the opposite of what I was hoping for, but just a couple good ones. Forever 21. This is a size small. It's just a white hooded fuzzy sweater. So, all right, Disney. This looks like LuLaRoe. Yes. LuLaRoe, all right. I think everyone knows the tag, but this is a size, I know LuLaRoe has weird sizing. Oh, this is tall and curvy. I don't really know their 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 um their stuff, but Disney might do okay. So I'll look this up. I'll try and do a Google Lens search and see if these are worth selling. I don't know. I mean, again, if I could get 10 to 15, I wouldn't be opposed to it. All right, this isn't terrible. Michael by Michael Kors, packable down fill jacket. I don't typically pick up a lot of Michael by Michael Kors, specifically, that's a diffusion line. Uh, but if it's in good condition, and if it's down filled, I wouldn't mind this, because I'm sh there's still a lot of people that like that diffusion line. It looks like it's in pretty decent condition. So although it's not the right season, fall is right around the corner. This is a size extra small and I already zipped it up, but Michael by Michael Kors, this is actually pretty decent. If I had to guess, I would guess I could probably still get maybe $40 for this. So I'm not mad about that. This has a tag. I can feel it. All right, this is Francesca's. It originally was priced at $54 and the brand is Blue Rain. I have picked this up in my early days of reselling and I have sold it, uh, but it's just a yellow jumpsuit. Pretty adorable and great for spring, summer. Now, the only downside is, is this tag, this Blue Rain tag is coming off on one side, so I might stitch that back on or might not, but here's the little tag. So that's not a bad deal either. Um, I could probably at least get 20 bucks for that I'm happy so far with just that few items. I've got a couple sellable items. This is a Gap skinny ankle size two pair of pants. It's got this kind of pinstripe to it. Kind of a nice career pant or casual pant. So I should be able to get at least 15 for this or 15 for that. All right, another new with tags and I have seen that, okay, Nordstrom tag. This is great. Hopefully there's no stain. There could be a stain, it's white. But uh, Bardot. Oh gosh, the box is Bardot. And then here's the Nordstrom tag. So it originally was $169. And it is new with tags, a little white dress. So not bad at all. Hopefully, I know my lighting's not the best right now, but uh, I will try to look it over. It looks good right now. So I'm guessing I could at least get 40 bucks for this, maybe more. I've never sold that brand, so I'm not sure on the comps, but that's fantastic. Already three sellable items. Already I think I can make about half, not half, maybe like maybe a hundred bucks back from 250. All right, apartment nine, just a little tank. Uh, this won't be worth selling, but I can donate that. All right, Express. Definitely not a brand I pick up, but if I get it for free and it's a good style, this is a skinny high rise size two. Uh, mm, I do like these little buttons, so I might list these. I might, I might list those. All right, just a quick break for the sponsor of today's video, which is Green Chef. You guys know how much I love Green Chef meal kits. Uh, I am so excited for dinner tonight. I literally can't wait. Uh, tonight I'm having one of my favorite fishes that I never heard of before ordering these boxes, which is called Barramundi. 
I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and tonight it's being served with a bell pepper stir fry, cashew cauliflower rice, cabbage, scallions, sesame seeds, and a really delicious sauce on top. So I'm so, so excited about dinner tonight. But if you don't know what Green Chef is, Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company, and they have options for every lifestyle. So they've got keto boxes, paleo, Mediterranean, gluten-free, they have vegan, vegetarian, and they also have something called fast and fit. So there's a lot of options for everyone out there. A couple things that I love about Green Chef. One, their ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. So typically with each meal, I only have to cut one or two things and the rest of it, I'm just putting together following their easy to use guide. They have these recipe cards that are easy to follow. Another thing I love about Green Chef is you can enjoy your greens while being green. <laughs> I love that play on words. Uh, so Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of the plastic in every box and 100% of their carbon footprint and their carbon emissions. So I feel good about ordering these boxes. I can reuse the ice packs and I can recycle the rest, which I love. So if you're ready to try Green Chef meal kits, definitely feel free to use my code down below, which is common tags 130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. So you can just go to greenchef.com for more details, use that code and definitely give it a try because it's in my opinion, one of the best ones out there for many reasons. So thank you Green Chef for sponsoring another video. Let's get back to the thread up haul. All right, Akira. I think I picked this up once before and I think it's a fast fashion brand. I will have to double check, but it feels like faux leather. Um, it feels fairly cheap. So I would be surprised if this is worth selling. Yeah, it's polyurethane and polyester. Um, I'll still double check. The zipper is not a YKK. That's usually a good indicator. It's not a valuable brand. So I don't think that will be worth selling. All right, here is a IZ buyer. I see this all the time and I don't know where they sell it, but it's just a little floral top, cold shoulder. I don't think that brand is worth much. All right, here is a Casper Classics. I actually don't mind selling Casper. I've sold quite a few Casper suits by uh, from a family member that I got for free during COVID. And they all sold for like 20 to $50. Um, now they have to be somewhat of a decent style. I don't know. I don't know if there's a jacket that matches this. If there is a jacket that matches this, I might sell it because people are going back into the office and some people have jobs that still require that. All right, here's another one. Again, I don't know where they sell this, but I think it's probably like a Kmart or Walmart or, you know, Kohl's or something. So I don't think this will be worth selling, but they're just kind of leggings. Yeah. Try not to skip ahead. All right, another new with tags, but this only has a Ross tag that's been marked down. So it was marked down to 99 cents. The brand is Milk and Honey. I've never seen this before. Looks kind of like a fast fashion brand. Uh, it's kind of cute though, at least it's right for the season. It's an extra large, I'm guessing it's maybe a junior's brand. <laughs> but yeah, this would look cute on the mannequin. So again, if I could get, you know, 12, $15 for it confidently, I'm not opposed to it. All right, this is weird. Vintage maybe? In the mood, London, Paris, New York, uh, Maine, Jamaica, 100% polyester. This definitely looks vintage. So I've never seen this brand, but I actually don't mind it. It's kind of fun and unique. So if it's not stained, I'm sure I could at least get 15 to 20 bucks for that. So that's cool. I think my goal is with this box is to actually get a lot to list because it's going to save me a lot of time in the next few weeks. This is a brand that I see all the time. And again, I don't know where they sell it. Tresix, uh, but it's just kind of a, uh, what is it called? A burnout tea. So it's not going to be worth much. It's not going to be worth selling. This is, I don't know what this brand is. I've never seen it but it's just a little tank. It almost looks like athletic wear. I do like the print. So just because I don't know, it doesn't mean it's not worth anything. It's a size eight and this might be worth selling just because the print's cute and it looks like it's in decent shape. 
So we'll see. All right, this is a little tea. Halogen, size small. Halogen is a house brand for Nordstrom. This probably won't be worth selling. These probably only retail for, you know, 15, 20, 25 dollars or something around there. It feels nice and soft, so I'm sure donating it, someone will like it at a thrift. All right, Hillary Radley. Uh, just black career wear pants or kind of stretchy, skinny career wear pants. They are low rise. I don't think this brand gets much. This is a size small, so I don't think these are going to be worth selling. All right, Liz Claiborne, size small. I don't mind a good Liz piece if it's a good size, you know, a larger size and in really great shape. This is kind of basic. I can't imagine I would be able to get much, so I probably won't sell that. All right, here's a Sienna Sky, size large. I see this tag pretty often as well, and I've never looked it up, just because it feels usually pretty cheap, like a boutique brand or something. So this is just a little wrap top. I do like the print. Uh, it's a size large, which is great, but it looks a little small, so it probably runs closer to a medium. Uh, but I'll look it up. All right, J. Crew Chino Shorts. It's a City Fit size four. They are for right for the season, so if they don't have any, oh, this has a little stain on the back right here. I don't think that's gonna be worth stain treating, so I'll probably just donate those. In good condition, I would probably only be able to get 10 to 15 for those. All right, Worthington, again, a brand that's, you know, JCPenney or Kohl's or something like that. It's a pretty fun skirt, but I probably won't be able to get, uh, get much for it in a few months. All right, VS Pencil. I'm guessing that's Victoria's Secret. Yes, Victoria's Secret is on the button. So I don't know if you can see. It's written up here, but it's kind of the same color. It's also neon. It says it on the button, Victoria's Secret. But uh, neon pants, neon jeans. I can't imagine these are going to be worth much, but if I could get 10 to 15, you better believe I'm going to list them. No shame in my game. Um, they seem to be in good pretty decent shape. I can't see any stains, so we'll see. All right, this is Bob Mackie, wearable art. I have picked up and sold a couple of Bob Mackie items. I do like the little uh, sequins on here. The tag is cut, and it's also an XX small, so I'm not sure if that will be worth listing, but if it's in good condition with no stains, I might list it and hope for 10 to, 10 to 15. All right, here's another Hillary Radley. And size small. These ones seem to be in better shape than the last pair, but a similar style, a skinny. I don't know, these are in really good condition, almost like they've, they've never been worn. Like I can see the little stitching, like they pulled off the tag, but they never wore them. These actually are in really great shape. If I had to guess, these are new without tags. But I will look up the comps just to make sure. If I could get 10 to 15, no shame. All right, Nine West. Uh, not a brand I typically pick up, especially for clothing. These are size four, just some slacks. They do have a tuxedo stripe on the side, which I'm seeing, which is nice, a nice accent. I do like that. This is probably a faux leather panel. So we'll see. I don't think I've ever tried to tell, to, to sell new, uh, what is it, Nine West? Oh gosh, uh, Nine West slacks, but we will see. All right, this is Loft Petites. It's extra small petites. It's just a little gold sweater. Now, I think this would be really great for the holiday season, for fall and winter, but I'll probably list this. I, could, I think I could get 10 to 12 for that. All right, finally found the tag. Simonton, Simonton says, Simonton says, extra, extra small designed by George Simonton. I've never seen this tag or this brand before, so I have zero idea. Can't even guess where it's from. Uh, it's kind of like a turtleneck blouse, lace blouse. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's in bad condition. <laughs> Sneeze. It's probably moving around dust. All right, Gap Factory or outlet, just a tee, that won't really be worth much. Here is apartment nine. 
that won't be worth much. If any of this isn't worth much stuff is in my size, I will definitely try it on. All right, this is Topshop. I don't pick up a lot of Topshop. I've never really had much luck selling it, but this is a cute top. This would actually be cute for fall, just the colors. So it is a size US six. I might list it, put it on the mannequin. All right, here's a new tag, Chico's. I love selling a good Chico's item. <laughs> just kidding. I have sold my fair share of Chico's. This is just a shell but it was retailed at $39. It's a size two, which is equal to a size large. And if it's not stained, I will absolutely sell this. This is a great piece to layer with. So, all right, this is B Jewel. Looks like a cheap um, fast fashion brand or boutique brand, B Jewel. It's just a little tank. It's not a terrible style, but I don't think it's worth much, but I'll look it up. You guys can always leave me a comment below if you've had any luck with these brands that I don't know anything about. I love your guys' feedback. Now this might sell. This is maybe a more Y2K piece. So this actually might be worth selling. It's BB and it is a size medium and it's a full zip pencil dress. A bandage dress, it looks like a bandage dress. And that's kind of a classic style dress. So this I think I'll be able to sell maybe 20, 25, maybe 30. I'll, I'll try and look up comps. I know Y2K fashion is back. So for those types of things, maybe three years ago, they wouldn't get much. Maybe today they'll be able to get, you know, a decent amount. This is Primark. It's a UK brand, I believe. These are just a pair of skinny stretch pants. There is some condition issue on the back seam that like some stitching is coming. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but that's not in good shape, so. And I don't think Primark's worth very much. All right, here's a new tag. Zara Basic. The price is $49.90. This is pretty cute. Oh, it's missing a button. Is there an extra button? There is no extra button. That's kind of a bummer. So it's new with tag, but it's missing the top button right here. And these are very specific style buttons. So I think that's just gonna be donated. So maybe someone else could swap out all the buttons. That is not my thing, but sorry, I didn't, did I show? Zara Basic, uh, $49. So that's a bummer. If it had that extra button, I probably actually would sew it on. And that's coming, that's, that's a lot for me to say. All right, Tiana B, size six. I've never sold this brand, I've never looked it up. I don't think it's worth much. It's just a little dress navy blue, semi-sheer. Looks really cute and comfy, but I don't think it's gonna be worth much. I will check. Again, my concept with this, these boxes right now is that it will save me time and money with gas to not go sourcing as much. So this is Banana Republic Heritage Collection. So while some days I don't wanna list things that might only sell for 10 to $15 today, I don't mind if it's shipped to my house and I can save some time. So this is a pretty cute dress, shirt dress. Um, it's got a uh, waist tie. It looks like it might have a stain <laughs> just cause it's a solid color and it feels like silk or viscose. So if it doesn't have any stain, I will definitely sell this. Maybe about be able to get, you know, 15 to 20 for that. Again, these are guesses. Express, extra, extra small. It is just a cold shoulder sweater. The style definitely is kind of out, has been for a bit, so I probably won't list this because I don't have the best of luck with Express, but I can donate it. All right, this is a pair of Under Armour. I'm actually okay with Under Armour. I've sold it quite a few times, so if this is in good condition, I will throw it on my mannequin. It's a women's pullover, long sleeve quarter zip, and it's got a print on the bottom part of it and then a spell out on one sleeve. So I should be able to get about, you know, 15 for that maybe. All right, here is a blouse, sleeveless blouse by Laura Scott. This is, it's a nice print, but it's missing a size tag. Um, I could throw it on the size six mannequin. I already know this is probably a 10, 12, maybe 14. So, it wouldn't fit right on the mannequin and it probably won't sell for much. So I might just donate that. All right, skies are blue. That's Urban uh, Outfitters. It's a jacket. 
with this really cool velvet accent on the front. It looks like it has a single button or is it open front? Oh no, it's got one single button on the front. So it's just kind of a knit blazer with this velvet accent. This is actually pretty cute. Um, not, not for summer, but I think I should be able to get 15 to 25 for this, maybe 20, 25 for this. So I'm okay with that. All right, here's a Zanana Outfitters XL. It's a red maxi dress. I've seen this tag a bajillion times as well. I've never looked it up. I don't think it's worth much, but it's just a, just a dress. Um, it's pretty oversized. So I don't know if, I don't think that's a plus size brand, but I don't know where they sell it. The tag obviously doesn't look like it's worth much. Oh, we have lighting issues. We need to, we need to rearrange. Okay, I just shimmied the boxes over. <laughs> that one back there is really heavy. So, all right, sweating again. Um, back to the box that we started with. Okay, this is the same brand I just mentioned that I've never looked up, but this one says Signature. Did the last one say Signature? I already can't remember, and it was two seconds ago. Zanana Signature. This one is a size small, so it's a different size, but it's pretty oversized as well. It's just a hoodie. I'll look it up. I'm not optimistic, but we will see. This is Champion. Uh, these are just a pair of straight leg elastic or drawstring waist pants. Uh, you know, I'm pretty picky with Champion, but if I could get 10 to 12 bucks for it, they don't seem like they're in bad shape. They just need a lint, a lint roll. So yeah. All right. Ann Taylor size small, just a space dye sweater. You can see the zipper accents on the front sides and just kind of a rounded neck. I should be able to get 10 to 12 for that. All right. This is new with tags. This is a brand I've never heard of. Milano. Oh, Sioni. Milano. So it says Milano on this tag, if you can see right there. But then on this tag, it does have a style name or style number. It says down here, if you can see, by Sioni. I feel like I've seen Sioni. There's no price on here. I can't imagine this is worth much, but new with tags, if I can get 10 bucks for it, I will list it. All right, this feels like it's that same style dress that Zanana brand, am I right? No, this is J. Jill. I love a good J. Jill. J. Jill 4X, I love a good plus size J. Jill. All right, so it's not a dress, it is a top. Please don't have stains. Oh, is that stains? Is that a stain right there? I think that's staining, oh man. All right, well, we'll give, we'll give you a wash. We'll see. J. Jill is like a good, you know, bread and butter item for me. All right, Champion Duro, Duo Dry. Size small, just a little tank. I don't know if I can get 10 bucks for that, but I will check. This is, ooh, this looks really cheap. Uh, size small, Cameo, maybe? C-A-M-E-O. Um, I don't think this is going to be worth much. <laughs> if I had to guess. Feels cheap, looks cheap. Yeah. Kenzie. All right. It's missing a belt. So I already know that probably it's already not a brand that I do particularly well with, but it's just a little shift dress or something. It's semi-sheer. So I don't know if it's missing some lining, but it is Kenzie. And I don't do that great with this brand and it's missing a size. So I'm guessing that's just getting donated. All right, this is, all right, I think this is kind of a dupe for Lululemon. Uh, there's no brand tag or marker like a logo, but it kind of looks similar to like a dance pant from Lululemon. The zippers don't have any sort of marker on them. So there's nothing that I can, yeah, these are getting donated, but it's probably just like an Amazon dupe for Lululemon. All right, these are American Eagle Extra Small. And not the right season. I don't think I could get much for these. They're not in terrible shape, so I don't know. Could I get 10 bucks for these? We'll see. I'll look it up. Whoops. Okay, we're... <laughs> 
we're uh, making progress. Okay, Time and True, these originally were $16.87. They are new with tags, a size 10. Could I get 10 bucks for these? I don't think I could, although I've never tried to sell Walmart, so I have no shame. This is a mid-rise boot cut, size 10, new with tags. I don't know. New with tags is kind of an easy sell because it's like, although there's kind of a spot right here. I don't know if you can see right there. So that probably will. I don't think I don't think I could get 10 bucks. Does Walmart have sales, right? They have like they lower prices or something. Yeah. So I would imagine it's been discounted a lot. So in focus studio dress. Uh, I don't think this would be worth much. I've ne I don't think I've ever tried to sell that brand. So I don't think that'll be worth listing if I had to guess. Tommy Hilfiger. This is size small. I do like when tops have this faux accent to them. It's like that preppy look. So I might list this because I like that look. Makes it easy. You don't have the, the bunching that happens underneath, you know? Maybe you don't know. Okay, Altered State. I don't pick up Altered State anymore, but I have sold it a couple times in the beginning of my reselling journey, and this is a pretty cute dress. So I think I'll list this. I like the, I like the print on it. So Altered State has a variety of tags, size medium. Hopefully this can fit on my size six mannequin, and I think it's pretty cute. So maybe 15, maybe 20 bucks for that. All right, this is Avia. I don't know where they sell this. I know it's pretty common brand. I feel like it's like a big five brand or something. I could be wrong. Just a gray tank. I know that's not going to be able to get much. All right. And a new day or a new day, a new day. Yes. A new day. Large. Uh, this is, I can maybe wear to yoga. So yeah, I might wear that to yoga. I wear a lot of tanks. So All right, BCBG Max Azria, definitely not a brand that I aim for. However, it's also got a tag that is coming off on one side. Now, do we have a size? Okay, so there is no size on this that I can find. It's 100% silk. And yeah, I don't think this is going to be worth it just because I don't have that great of luck with this brand and it's missing a size, so I will just re-donate that. All right, here's a Zara dress, it's a lemon dress. That's pretty cute, like just the print, novelty print, so I will probably sell that, maybe get 15 bucks for it. Obviously, if it's in good condition, I'll get it under lights and whatnot. Okay, this feels heavy which it's not actually, it's a shirt dress. Okay, another new with tags, Time and True XL. Let's see what the price is on this. No price. Midi length, that's what, oh, it's a utility shirt dress and it has an extra button. I do like the color of this um, and I like the size. So I might list that one if there's no flaws. Maybe get 10 bucks for it. But, Walmart's a really tough sell for me. Okay, I've never seen this brand, but the tag looks intriguing. Like I would look this up in a thrift store. Sleepy Jones, it's kind of a boxy fit, cropped top. Um, no idea. It just says 100% cotton made in the USA. That's usually sometimes can be a good sign. So this might be something. This might be a brand that is worthwhile. So hopefully that will is sellable. I mean, I feel like my standards for these boxes right now are pretty low because I'm just trying to save myself time of sourcing. But here we go with more Zanana. <laughs> Does this one have one less N? I'm starting to like, this is a slightly different tag, but it's a 1X and it's a green jumpsuit. Yeah, jumpsuit? Yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. That's, yeah. I've gotten three of those items in this box, so at least I'm gonna be able to look up that brand for the first time ever. All right, Trina Turk. Let's see, do you have a size on here? All right, well, that's unfortunate. Not that I have the best of luck with Trina Turk career wear, but I can't find a size. 
Oh, and there's a little hole. Or is it a hole? It's like a pull in the fabric back here. On a good day, I feel like I would be able to get 15 for these. With a flaw and no size, I feel like they're not gonna be worth, worth listing. Sometimes you just have to be realistic, you know? You sell enough stuff. Nope, oh, I, got, I saw this, like pull tag cut out, and I was like, ooh, is it Lululemon? Sorry, sorry guys, no, we do not have that. It's like a Amazon faux brand. Vim, V-M-M-A, or something like that. Uh, I'll look it up, but I don't think that's worth much. It does have like a pattern, so. But man, I thought maybe, not that Lululemon really sells for that much unless it's a really great piece, but okay. Knew what tags made well. I'm okay with this. Now it does have some stickers like it was marked down. It is an XX small, but this is a super cute top. I would pick this up at the bins for sure, or maybe for half off at like a regular thrift store. Really like this, and it's new with tags. So that is not bad. I'll probably be able to get 20 bucks for that. I'll definitely make my money back on this box and hopefully be able to double or triple because I'm not even done with the first box. So I'm not even done with half of it. I think for sure I can make my money back on this first box. Yeah, we'll see. I just need a couple good bangers, you know? All right, this is, what is this logo? There's no tag and it's neonish. Do you see that? Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't think that's champion, is it? I don't know. Doesn't have any other tags, so I don't think it's list worthy, but, and it's not my size. All right, tonic, never seen it, looks pretty cheap. I'm gonna guess this is not worth it. I feel like that should be the game. Guess if it's worth it or not. <laughs> All right, this is champion leggings, kind of a faded tag, size small maybe. Um, yeah, these aren't terrible shape and they do have side pockets. So these might be able to get, like they don't have any pilling or anything. These might be able to be sellable for 10 bucks. All right, Madewell, there's a spot on here and it's just a tank, size small. It's a cute style tank, but it's got some marker in a couple spots, so that's damaged. Okay, Hollister, extra small. It's the ultra high rise. Ultra high rise is all it says. So I'm, I'm assuming they just have, but it does have elastic on the back of the skirt. That's pretty cute. I don't think this is gonna be worth much, but I'll look it up. I'll probably take into account sell through rate for some of this stuff. You know, if there's like 5 million listed for $10 and only three solds, even if some have sold for $10, if there's that many listed, I probably won't be able to get that much. So I will factor that in when I'm deciding. This is Lulu size large. This is a pretty cute dress. I don't pick up Lulu's very often, but um, this I don't mind. I'll, oh, they're stains. Do you see those? That's unfortunate. I can't even see those right here, but that's definitely some staining. I don't think that's gonna come out. It looks kinda like grease stains. That's a bummer. That would've been a cute item to throw on the mannequin. All right, Michael by Michael Kors is size 14. So if there's no flaws with this, I should be able to get this on a mannequin and get maybe 10 to 15 for it. I don't know why my arms are hurting so much <laughs> reaching into this box. It's almost like it's like my first time doing a thread up box, which it's not. Fashion Nova, absolutely not. I know some people pick up this stuff to sell. I'll look it up. It looks like it's in decent condition, has a full zip on the back. I don't think I can get that much for it. I mean, Fashion Nova retails for like 10 bucks, doesn't it? Yeah, but try not to throw shade at anything right now because the whole point of this is to get product to list. Jones, New York. If there was a jacket matching this, I would list it. If not, I will not be listing it. Lululemon, finally. I've gotten a few decent things. I'm not, I'm not upset about this box. All right, so this is a pair of leggings. They do look like a higher rise. They look pretty tiny, but we'll have to check on condition. There's the logo. Is there a pocket for a size? Yes, there's a pocket on the back. So these are a size six, and I'm not mad about these. I should be able to get maybe 30 for these. I'll try and find the exact um, style, but Again, I think I'm doing okay. I think I could maybe double my box, double my cost 
on just this box alone if I list a lot of the $10 to $15 items. And I think this next box might triple or quadruple it. And that's okay. So Under Armour, sport bra, the tag is cut out and there's no marker for a size that I don't know, that I know about. So I don't think this is gonna be worth selling without that size, which is a bummer. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. And it's not my size. I definitely can't fit into this. <laughs> so. All right, here is a H&M divided, a little crop top. This is a size small. That probably won't be worth more than anything. Probably won't be worth much. All right, loft size large. This might be a keeper. This is up my, st this is up my style. <laughs> this is up my alley. Definitely my style, kind of a loose fit. I might wear this with a cardigan for a real estate video and maybe sell it after, we'll see. It's a little sheer, those always are hard on camera, so I might not be able to pull that, but. All right, Gap, it's just a lightweight jacket. Lightweight, yeah, it's like a button front. Like a, oh no, there's two buttons on the front. So it's like a lightweight blazer. Um, I don't know if I could get 10 bucks for that. Maybe. I don't mind selling Gap every once in a while. All right, another one of the Zanana Outfitters, size large. I think this is my fourth one in this box, so. But that tag looks super cheap. <laughs> I might be able to sleep in this one at least. You know, it's got pockets. I could run around the house in this. It's a maxi. So that might, if I can't sell that brand, that might just be a lounge around the house. Oh no, is this the same? It's the same. They're all different sizes though. This is a 2X. Is this like a Lulu Row type of thing? It kind of looks like similar tags too. I don't know. I love these boxes because it forces you to look stuff up. Okay, this is J. Crew new with tags, size small. So I'm okay with that. It's nothing fancy, it's just a little wrap top, but I should be able to get 15 for that. All right, and this is the last one from this box. All it has is a size small tag right there. So this is nothing. Uh, so that won't be worth anything. Okay. All right, we're on to box number two. So this is the second 50 pounds. So far, I'm pretty confident I can double my money on that first box. Nothing too spectacular. That's okay. Product to list. So hopefully there's maybe a couple good items in here. Don't pee, Courtney. <laughs> All right, so this is BCBG uh, Generation. It's one of their lower lines. This is a size medium. They're just leggings. Uh, they do have the pockets on the side and they have these cute little stripes. So those might be worth listing. I don't know, I've never, I didn't even know BCBG did athletic wear, but I'll look it up. All right, here's Ann Taylor Loft. It's just a skirt. I don't mind the loft, but this might be tough. It is a size two. It's not terrible. It's an easy photo if I just give it a quick steam, but I'll have to look that up, see what the sell-through rate is on that. Oh no, please don't tell me this is more of the Zanana. Zanana, oh no, just even better. Just a gold tag, no brand, just gold tag. Oh geez, okay, well. You fall in the Zanana category for me because that's how you feel right now. Okay, it's basically a dress. It's got some ruching on this side with like a drawstring on this side. Just a gold tag. I can't find a material tag. So if you guys recognize just a plain gold tag and you tell me that it's Gucci, I will be very happy and I will thank you. <laughs> but right now, tough sell. All right, DKNY. Uh, this won't be worth it. There's also looks like there's a couple spots back here, so I don't think it's in great shape. So I'm guessing I probably won't list that. All right, Athleta. Uh, not all Athleta is great, but I don't mind pick. I don't mind getting that brand in this box. This is just a lightweight plaid shirt. This is a size small. Just a button front shirt. So if all the buttons are there, I'll list this and maybe you'll be able to get about 15 for that. All right, here's Isaac Mizrahi for Target. I don't think this is gonna be worth listing, but um, extra small. So I'm guessing I'm donating that. All right, some denim. 
Okay, American Eagle Outfitters, next level flex. What size are you? 32 by 32. Are these men's? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look these up. American Eagle Outfitters, slim. Yeah, I'm guessing these are men's because usually men's have the inseam. So these are American Eagles, 32 by 32, slim jeans, distressed men's. So I'm okay with that. I should be able to get maybe 20 bucks for these. They don't seem like they're in bad condition other than the distressing that's intentional. I haven't sold uh, American Eagle jeans in a long time, like a couple years. So I don't know the comps, but I'm sure I could sell those. Okay, Willie Smith. No idea where they sell this. I've seen it multiple times. Size small. It's just a, just a black top, pretty basic top. I don't think that's going to be worth much, so... All right, NYCC, New York Clothing Co., size 14, elastic waist pants. What's that? New York and Company is a different brand, right? New York and Company is not New York Clothing Company, so I'm sure there was a lawsuit about that, but it feels very cheap, so I'm guessing it's not worth much. All right, jacket, please be something. Yes! I feel like this is something. Maybe. 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 I feel like this is something. Please don't let me down. Live out loud every day. Lola, I know I've sold this. And it's an extra large. Oh, thank you. All right. I feel like I've sold this once. It's been a long time. But this is a really nice jacket. Please don't have any major holes. Yep, this is really awkward for me to hold right now. But it's kind of a mid-length. It is a full zip with some snaps. Did I show the tag? I'm just excited to get some outerwear. I know it's not the right season, but outerwear, a really great outerwear piece, you know, I don't know anything about this. I, I feel like this is the, worth, the, the first one that's worth me writing something on the screen. So I will write on the screen what the comps are, but there's some lint, some dog hair, but that's, that's something I can deal with. The zipper seems to work. Oh, great size. Oh, okay. Can we get a few more of those in here? Is this gonna be my good box? All right, J. Crew Neon. This is J. Crew Outlet. So, but I have sold Outlet before, and this is a pretty fun dress for summer. I'm gonna list it if it's in good shape. Maybe 15, 20 bucks. Made well, size six. Already, I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Are there more jackets? Just give me all the jackets. I still look at the jacket section in the middle of summer. I don't care. I just like selling jackets. All right, Made well, size six. This is a blazer. Yeah, a two button front blazer, size six. Does it have the style? Yes, it's got a style number, so I can easily look this up. I'm thrilled. Throw that on my mannequin. Fantastic. All right. Express, size small, bedazzled, bedazzled. Uh, shoulders. I don't know guys, this, this might not be worth it. <laughs> I feel like this would be missing some bedazzling. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's, oh yeah. Oh, what is, what has happened over here? A dog got to it. Okay. Look at this. Can you see all that holes? Those, all those holes? I think like, I don't know, someone had a really fun night and just got stuck on a power pole or something and like yanked off. I don't know. That's my, <laughs> that's my interpretation of what happened with that sweater but it's obviously not worth listing. Okay, the limited extra small. I don't even think the limited is in business anymore. This I won't be listing, but I can donate it. Maybe someone else can buy it for themselves. Okay. All right, a sip of water. All right, this is a loft, one size fits most. I'll list this. It's just like a shawl. Throw this on the mannequin. It's open on both sides, so just try it on for you. Box, you're kind of in the way. So yeah, just like a, a throw over, you know. Yeah. Or keep it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. If it doesn't have good comps, I would keep that one. You know, easy to throw on on a chilly night. All right, Hugo Boss. I don't mind picking up Hugo Boss Occasionally, this already has a snag right here, if you can see. 
Um, it's a dress and it doesn't appear to have a size. It might be at the material tag, but Hugo Boss or Boss by Hugo Boss. Um, this is a subdivision of Hugo Boss, but Hugo Boss is actually a very expensive brand or designer. Um, and some men's where I've sold for, you know, 100, around 100. So I'll look this up. There's that snag on the back, but I'll look it up. If the material tag has a size and if it's that just that little tiny snag, I'll probably list it. Maybe get, you know, 25. We'll see. Okay, made well. So this is not something I would necessarily pick up, but if it's in decent shape, this is a good little fall item, cardigan, button front, um, and it's a size medium. So that'll look nice on the mannequin, and it's a good fall item. Probably $20, $25 for that. Okay, all right, already, this box wins. Okay, I'm thrilled. <laughs> I'm thrilled uh, because I need stuff to lit. Oh, Kate Spade, new attacks. Okay, okay, stop, Courtney. I should have started with this box because I feel like I've lost half the people watching this already. All right, Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby. Thank you, thread up. Okay, this is a little dress. Please don't have any flaws. Make sure the zipper works, but that's cute. That's a cute little wedding attire, a wedding dress. That'll look adorable on the mannequin. This will probably sell for, if I had to guess without looking it up, uh, maybe 40, maybe up to 50. That's my guess on that range if it's in good shape. Okay, Kate Spade new with tags. Here we go, what's wrong with you? Okay, I have a button, nope, that's good. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing looks terrible, what, what's the retail on this? $475, new with tags. It's got some extra buttons in here, that's good. Cause this is definitely one of those things. Oh, is it missing a button on the top? Is there a hole up there? There's not a hole up there. I don't think it's missing a button. Guys, I think this is pretty solid. It's gonna go maybe be a, too snug on the mannequin, but I will try my best. But it's a little blazer with a tire on the waist and it retailed for $475. There's no like sale tags on here. Thrilled. Oh, it even has the name of the jacket. The Tavi jacket. And the color is Rendezvous Blue Multi. Fantastic. You know how easy that is to list? Thank you, Thread Up. Thank you. I needed this. I needed some joy in my life. If you could just give me a Patagonia piece in here, maybe some more Lulu. Maybe some Lulu in my size. That would be nice. I don't know. This Old Navy might be my size. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. Ah. All right. Uh, this is Seven for All Mankind. The style is the skinny. It's uh, stitched in black, so it's probably gonna be a little tough to show, but they actually look like they're in pretty great shape. There's this very subtle sheen, if you can see, and I'll sell those. What size are these? Size is cut out, fantastic. Just what I wanted to see. Man, that's unfortunate. These are actually in decent shape. Well, maybe there's another tag I'm not seeing right now, but if I can't find the size, that would be tough tough one okay so this is the old navy stuff i was like oh this is my size i would i wouldn't mind wearing these um to yoga they've got like perf perforated um little accents right there but i don't see a size so i wouldn't sell these but and i don't think they are my size they look a little small maybe i can give them to a friend though so yeah all right so this is Okay, so this is missing a brand tag, but it does have an RN number. I feel like this is going to be Loft or Banana Republic or something, some mall brand. Uh, none of the buttons have a name on it, but I can look up the RN number. These are just slacks, but uh, there's no size on here. There's no brand on here, so that would be a really tough sell, so I'll probably just donate those. Okay, uh, I think this is Zara. Am I backwards? What's going on here? What are we doing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Zara. Zara Basic. I just saw you tag. Where are you? Okay. Zara Basic, extra small, if you can see right there. So it looks like it's just a little skirt, but it does have the little waist belt. And this is actually a pretty, pretty cute skirt. So I'm okay with that. I'll list that. Hopefully be able to get 15. Nike. Yeah, I don't pick up a lot of Nike, but I have sold it from Threaded Boxes, and this is a nice little um, jacket, lightweight jacket, really cute colors. So if it doesn't have any stains on it, I don't even know what size. It's got a hood, which is great. 
uh, extra small. So yeah, that's probably at least 20 bucks maybe. All right, so this is Banana Republic. It's called the Hacking Jacket, size 10. I love when they have the names of the styles written in. It also means it's probably a pretty common or popular style. Uh, but this is a double button. I like the gold buttons. It also has these little gold buttons on the wrist area. So this is like a very classic style. So yeah, if this doesn't have any flaws, this is a great thing. It also has little shoulder, I'm sorry, elbow patches that, I mean the same color, but it's there. Um, so that's great. I'm sure I could at least get 25 to 30, maybe more. Some of those jackets can do more. Um, like what was that jacket? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, Susanna Monaco, I think is a Nordstrom brand. And this is just a, this is a mini dress. This is, yeah, it looks like a little mini dress. Uh, so it's a Nordstrom brand, but it comes in a lot of wholesale boxes. So it's flooded on the resale market. Uh, size small. Yeah, I'm guessing this is just a little mini dress. So I'll list it. I think I could get 15, maybe 20 for that. All right, here's an older J. Crew tag, but it's size four, it's wool. And it's just like a sheath dress. So it's just a career dress. So I'll list it. Maybe that'll even fit, maybe, on the size six mannequin. And then that will make it easier to show. But it's a pretty old tag. Did I show the tag? Oh, geez. There's the tag. This, could, this may even be considered vintage, not even gonna lie. All right, this is J. Crew, the classic peak polo, size large, just a navy blue polo. And there is the tag. I like the size, so maybe I could get 10 bucks for that. I like J. Crew. All right, here's D. Co. Denim and Company. It's US size medium, and it's just a little plaid button front shirt. I don't know where they sell this brand. I want to say it's like Mervyn's or Kohl's or something like that. So I don't think it's going to be worth much, but um, I can always donate it. And so far, I think for sure I'm going to be able to, OMG, one of my favorite brands. Thank you. What else is in here? Oh my gosh. I should have started with this box. Okay, Courtney, focus. Extra small, equipment femme. <laughs> if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know I love this brand. Uh, so now this might be flawed, in which case that will be a bummer, but understandable. So far, it doesn't look flawed. It's very heavy. Usually equipment does, um, silk. This is rayon. It does have a style name, so I can easily look that up with the cut, cut number. And it does have a dry clean tag on it. So this is fantastic. These shirts retail for a few hundred dollars. Um, and usually I'm able to sell the button front shirts by this brand for anywhere from 30 to 60 usually, just depending on the size, the style, that kind of stuff, but that's fantastic. I think I'm gonna be able to quadruple my money on this box, not gonna lie. I'm thrilled. All right, like the two boxes combined. All right, Gap, size medium. This is a little wrap dress, it looks like. Is that a wrap? No, nope, it's just, it's half button front. Um, I'll list this. I'll put this on the mannequin. It's an older gap tag, but it's a cute style. Might also be vintage. <laughs> Can we throw that under Y2K? All right. Cause I feel like that's, that was my generation. All right. Polo, uh, Ralph Lauren. Every time I say Ralph Lauren, I understand that I say it incorrectly. I know it's like Lauren, but I have a friend named Lauren and I can't associate the two. And I also just hear a lot of people say Ralph Lauren. So for everyone that has corrected me, I appreciate it. I will continue to say Ralph Lauren because it's just rolls off the tongue. And I'm sorry for that. But <laughs> anyways, I guess I could just like not say it at all together. But uh, the only good thing about this is it does have a little polo guy. And it's a sweater that seems to be in decent shape. V-neck, merino wool. So size large. I'll probably list this. Yeah. Okay, you feel like something. You feel like all saints. You are all saints. Yay! Oh my gosh. Let's keep it Kevin box. Give me all the stuff I would actually pick up. Okay, I love the funky All Saints. It's got the avant-garde style and this fits the bill. So it's got some zipper action all the way around the neckline. 
It's a little oversized. I don't even know where the armholes are, nor do I care. I mean, I guess my, the armholes are back here, but <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. This is gonna look great on the mannequin. Did I show the tag? 100% silk, US size six. Fantastic. Just keep in mind, I have had some of my worst boxes of my life be 100 pound boxes. Um, I don't remember how bad my last one that I filmed was, and it's probably been a year since my last 100 pound thread up box. So I wouldn't necessarily say run out and get one, but every once in a while I get a decent one. And right now I needed a decent one because I can't thrift as much right now. Old Navy Active, not worth selling, but hey, I can donate it. Is this a Lulu? This is a Lulu. All right, already. Oh man. And to compete with the, co is it Cozy, 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 cozy Threads? Uh, to compete with that, I feel like it's a really gonna be a stiff competition because I have some decent stuff in here. Gym Sharks coming up. I actually just sold that bra and shipped it out today. All right, Lululemon. This is a Swiftly, I believe, long sleeve tee. And I'm happy with that. It's got little thumb holes in it, absolutely. Thank you, Second Box, for saving the day. I just sold this bra in green, shipped it out today, and it went to Canada, and it got $20. And this is, has a material tag cut out. Does it have the size somewhere? I don't know, but it's the camo. It's, I forgot, already forgot the name of the type of bra, but I'll be able to get 20 bucks for that. Oh, so good, so good. All right, this is not Lululemon, this is Sweaty Buddy. I am 95% sure that's a Sweaty Buddy symbol. Um, please be my size. <laughs> I don't really need stuff, but I do want yoga stuff because I fortunately have been doing that a lot these days. So if this is my size, I'll keep it. Um, if it's not my size, I don't see any size tag on here, but I can at least throw it on my mannequin. And I'm pretty sure that's the Sweaty Buddy logo, which is a decent brand. Um, Zella, Zella size medium. It's Z by Zella. So this is the one that they sell at Nordstrom Rack, not Nordstrom. And I do like some Zella leggings, but not the Z by Zella leggings. I've learned it's actually very different quality. So, but I will be able to sell this for maybe 15 bucks. It's a nice little half zip pull pullover, quarter zip, something around there. All right. This is a new with tags, but it kind of looks kind of cheap. Champion Sherpa jacket. How much did you retail for? Um, ooh, they crossed out the retail. Retailed for $39.99, I believe is what it says. So not much. Oh, it's only at Target. So it's the Champion, but it is an XXL. Oh, it's C9 by Champion. Okay, so it's an XXL. It's new with tags. It retailed for $40. I think I can get 20 for it. Maybe in the winter. I'll still list it now. Okay, so that's what the C9 looks like by Champion but it's just a little Sherpa jacket, great size, new with tags, fantastic. Another $20 item, I'm thrilled. This is exactly what I needed. If I had a really bad box, I, you may have seen me cry on camera. All right, loft, extra, extra small, petite. It's a little tiny top, tiny top. Uh, this probably won't be worth listing because you can buy these and like, you know, buy one, get one free for like 15 bucks type of thing. So I don't think that's gonna be worth listing. Uh, meaning I don't think I could at least get 10 bucks for that, so I can redonate. This is pink, Victoria's Secret, extra small. I don't sell or pick up pink. Uh, I have in the past, and it really doesn't do all that great for me. So I don't think that will be worth it, but we'll see. All right, another Tommy Hilfiger. That is a little, what is this called? This has a name to it. I think... It's the stripe and it's kind of textured and it's kind of a preppy. I don't know if I can remember to write it on the screen, I will, or you guys can leave a comment below, but this is just a really nice blazer, preppy, classic, great. I will sell you. I will sell you. Okay, another new with tags. Soma. Soma is part of Chico's and this is just a lightweight sweater with kind of a very subtle animal print, it looks like on the viewfinder. This retail for $79. Oh, it's Tiger. It's Tiger Pullover. Straight Tunic Whisper White. Um, and Soma is like the bra, intimates, sleepwear of Chico's. I'm like 99% sure. So that's fantastic. This is a size medium. Great. I should be able to get 20 bucks for that. 
You feel like silk. J. Crew. No size. That's a bummer. Can you fit on my... This is pretty cute, though. It's an older J. Crew tag. Oh, no. This is cursive, so that actually might not be that old. Um, there is no size, but if this fits on my size 6 mannequin, I could always sell it as such. It looks a little tiny. I think it's actually a 2 or a 4, which would be a bummer. I can try and sell it, though. It's pretty cute. It is pretty cute. We'll try. I will try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work hard on that one. All right. This is a Ideology. I don't know where they sell this. I see it all the time. Size medium. It's just a full zip pullover or full zip um, lightweight kind of athletic wear jacket. I don't think that's going to be worth selling, but that's okay. I have a lot of sellable stuff, which I'm excited about. All right. Tahari Petite. Tahari, I don't mind. Uh, why can't I get a full suit in here? I, find, I see some cute prints in there. All right, this is a three button, not the most current style, and it's a petite. And okay, it's a two petite. So I think this is gonna be a tough sell, but Tahari, the regular line, is pricier than, well, it's kind of mid range, because Eli Tahari is the highest range, I think, and then Tahari's second line, and then the, ooh, ooh, UPS driver, hold on. Okay, so that was my UPS driver. I had to order a muzzle for the dog because we gotta take her to the vet to get some shots. And she does not like the vet, so. Um, but it's like a basket style, so she can like breathe easily. Anyway, so that just got delivered. All right, this is like Balance Collection or something or one of the yoga brands. Um, I think this is a reversible dress, so there's probably no tag on it. Uh, but. Uh, so yeah, so if I can't find any sizing, I might not sell this. It's not my size, but yeah. All right, this is Tahari. It's 100% linen, and it's a size medium. It looks like it's a little shirt dress. I should be able to get about 20, maybe 25 for this, maybe a little more. I think I sold a Tahari linen piece one time for like 35 bucks. So we'll see, but it's at least a nice little summer dress and that's just really breathable for hot weather. So I'm not mad about it. All right. Worthington size extra small. Um, Worthington, JCPenney. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, it's not a terrible brand, but I don't think it resells for very much. Uh, this, yeah, I don't think that's going to be worth selling, but this I spotted a while ago. And this looks really adorable. And it's anthropology. <laughs> nice. All right. I like a good anthropology piece. So this is Mul um, Moulinette Sours. Sours. I think it's a French brand. <laughs> Moulinette Sours. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You guys can all correct me that speak French down below. Size four. Beautiful dress. Absolutely beautiful. So that is great. Um, I should be able to get 30 to 40 for that. All right, Zara Shrunken. It looks like this is shrunk. Yeah, this is definitely shrunk. Uh, it says size, size medium, but this is definitely more like extra small, small. So um, I'm guessing the material content has some wool and it's shrunken. So yeah, that probably won't be worth selling. All right, this is, I feel like I've seen this print before. Forever 21. This won't be worth much. It's also got a size cutout. So that pretty much guarantees it, but um, it's like a maxi dress. So I'll just donate that. All right, this is Love by Design. I think that's a Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack brand. This is a size large and it's just a um, eyelash fringe uh, sweater. It looks pretty tiny, so I'm guessing it's a cropped, smaller fit, so probably better for a medium, but I'll throw it on the mannequin and, and list that. All right, here's Aqua, size small. I don't think this is worth much, but it looks like a paper bag style pair of pants with like the belt. Um, I'll look it up. I don't typically pick up that brand, so yeah, I don't have high confidence that it's worth much, but again, no complaints. Okay, sixth and lane, size 28, but it's missing a belt and it probably has some stains just because it's a solid, so that's unfortunate, but I could always donate it maybe 
It's like a strapless kind of jumpsuit, it looks like. Cargo pant jumpsuit. Or not cargo pant, like cargo capris. Anyways, I'm pretty sure there's probably a stain and it's missing a belt. So I'll probably just donate that. All right. I won't be selling this. So just a dress. And this is a reversible vest with plaid on one side and solid on the other side. And if it's a reversible item with pockets, usually the tag is inside one of the pockets. So this is Marona, size XL. I don't know, this might be worth 10 to $15. I wouldn't mind listing that, that's an easy listing. All right, this is Rehab Lab. This is a size medium. What are you? <laughs> what in the world? I think this like has a giant cutout <laughs> around the stomach. I think that's what this is. Oh gosh, this is like a bodysuit. It's like a, oh gosh, wide leg bodysuit with a cutout. I have no idea. Um, if this is worth anything, I'll figure out a way to, to, to list this. Uh, but just based off of the material tag and the regular tag, I can't imagine this is worth much. <laughs> but hey, I have taken worse photos than that looks like. So if, it, if I could get 20 bucks for it, I would, I, would, I would take the time to figure out photos. All right, this is Parisian. Is that Parisian petite? Is that what that is? I don't know. Anyways, it feels very cheap. It's just a little blouse, floral blouse with some sort of tie thing. So um, this just doesn't feel like quality. So I'm assuming that's not a brand worthwhile, but I'll look it up. Okay, so this is Shein. Um, they always have the weirdest tag. So it's SH on that tag. And then on the flip side of it, you have the rest of the spell out. Anyways, this is a size US 11, 12 years. So this is a teenager. Um, and I don't think that's going to be worth selling. I, yeah, some people have sold some Shein stuff. I, yeah, it's so cheap. It's like fast fashion, the ultimate fast fashion. So uh, this is the pencil skirt by J. Crew. It is factory and it's a double zero petite. So I'm guessing this won't be worth much, but it's a cute little color. I can donate that and someone might be able to pick it up. All right, this is Studio 400, the limited Cassidy fit. Like trousers. Uh, yeah, limited does not sell for me. So I don't, again, I don't even think it's in business. Okay, just looking ahead, I don't think there's much exciting stuff in here, but we're gonna go through everything. I see some LuLaRoe. <laughs> All right, I feel like this is some LuLaRoe right here at the bottom of the box. I've never actually worn LuLaRoe, but you can feel it sometimes. This is LuLaRoe one size fits something, uh, just floral leggings, so those will get donated. These are LuLaRoe leggings, bow print, uh, LuLaRoe. <laughs> I don't even have to look at the tag. They all feel the same. I don't even want, what is a bird print? Okay. Uh, is there any more? There might be some more. Yep, here's some more. There's a, uh, another bird print maybe? I'm not sure. I did watch that documentary. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I was living in San Francisco when it was kind of peaking. I've never been to any party of any MLM um, because that's not, what people did in San Francisco. So, um, yeah, but it was fascinating to watch the documentary and it's heartbreaking really, to be honest, but LuLaRoe, uh, green, what's that? St. Patrick's day, maybe. Uh, okay. Maybe that's it. Nope. We have some solids. We have some solids. <laughs> I know some people would say like, just bundle all those up, but do those even, yeah, I can't even imagine that those still sell. Uh, but maybe that would be worth like a bulk list five of them together and get 15 bucks for them. So I might consider that. Yeah. Uh, mine. I don't know where they sell this, but I know it's pretty cheap and they're just little shorts. So I don't think that's going to be worth much. This is Old Navy Active 
Elevate legging, go dry. This is the same as the last one. There's like no size on here though. So yeah, I don't think that's gonna be worth much. All right, this is Forever 21. Little shorts, like skort. Oh, it's a skort. There's shorts on the back, so. All right, this is Biker Shorts by Forever 21. Are those still a thing this year? I know those had a moment. Donna Dugnan, I've never heard of this. It's a little pencil skirt. I don't think that's worth much, but I'll look it up. I don't know, we could have a, we could have a winner in here in my little pile. Uh, by HB1 Moroccan Touch. I don't know what that is, but elastic waist on the back, feels like polyester. Uh, definitely doesn't feel like quality. Stitching is a little weird on that pocket. So I'm guessing that's just a fast fashion brand, but I'll still look it up. Lane Bryant, size 22 skirt. I wouldn't be opposed to listing that. Maybe get 10 to 15. All right, H&M, size two. A little skirt. I don't think this will sell for much. Doesn't feel like a good quality H&M piece, so. All right, here's a Gap size eight skirt. I apparently got to the skirt section of the box. Uh, I don't think this is gonna be worth much, but at least it's a better size. So if I could get 10 bucks, I might list that. Oh, here's another LuLaRoe, just solid leggings. Here's some more. <laughs> I'm gonna lot these up. That's what I'm gonna do. These are all like one size is all it says, and they're all seem to be in decent shape. So I'm just gonna lot up like, that's like eight of them or something. Oh, here's another one. Here's another two. So I'm just going to lot all those up eight to 10 and just sell them for 15 to 20 bucks. I don't know if that's possible, but that would be easy. Okay. Last but not least forever 21. <laughs> but I think the second box was way better than the first. And yeah, I for sure I'm going to be able to triple, if not quadruple my money on this box. And I have stuff to list and I'm so thankful for that. So that's it for this thread up box. All right, if you're still here, <laughs> thanks for watching. Leave me a comment to let me know your thoughts on this box, if you had a favorite item, if you think I'm gonna be able to make some money off of this. And I'll be back in a few days with the Cozy Threads box. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see what's in that and how they compare. So thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.